Do not serve Jesus out of fear, serve him out of love. I feel like a lot of Christians, what I'm seeing at least, and what I'm hearing, and what in my own experiences, getting to know people, they love to serve God out of fear of hell. They love to serve God because they're afraid of going to hell. Now, yes, no Christian would ever really admit this. Oh, no, I love Jesus, blah, blah. But it's like they always talk about hell and hell. Oh, and I fell and I'm living this and I'm doing that. And now I'm afraid of going to hell. Like, no, you can have assurance of your salvation. Jesus gives you clear, clear scripture on insurance of your salvation. Romans chapter 5 says, starting in Romans chapter 4, starting in verse 4, Now to him that worketh is the reward not reckoned of grace, but of debt. But to him that worketh not, but believeth on him that justifieth the ungodly, his faith is counted for righteousness. Even as David also described, describeth the blessedness of the man unto whom God imputeth righteousness without what? Without works. So you don't have to work your way to heaven. You don't have to live this perfect lifestyle because none of us can really do that. And, oh, it's all God, brother. It's all God. It's all God. No, you're focusing on yourself. You're putting yourself, you're putting your trust in yourself, in your own works, in your own sinful nature. This flesh is sinful. It can do no good. Our good works, our lifestyle, our behavior is like filthy rags unto the Lord. So stop putting your faith in yourself and put it into the one who is perfect. There's only one who can judge, my friend, and that is Jesus. So when you look God in the eye on judgment day, are you going to say, are you going to be confident because you lived a good lifestyle? No, you're going to be confident because this book says we are saved by grace through faith alone.